After a recent internet search, we realized that an overwhelming amount of people needed a definitive extension cord size chart. If you wanna know what gauge extension cord you need to support a particular tool or how long an extension cord you can run without losing power, you've come to the right place. We broke our charts down by length, since that's where most people start looking for the right gauge cord. If you wanna run a 100 foot long extension cord, you have to take into account the fact that you're essentially creating a huge resistor. With that in mind, you don't typically see 100 foot long cords exceeding 15 amp capacity. In our calculations, we allowed for a 5% voltage drop, which some people might think is too high. With that being the case, only one of our recommendations hit that level, the 100 foot long 12 gauge extension cord with a full 15 amp draw. This might be an unusual application for some, but we felt it represented a great scenario. It helps you understand what happens when using a 100 foot long extension cord on a tool with a high current draw. Everyone on a job site or a remodel has some experience running extension cords. For larger tools that require them, it's not enough to simply tap into the temporary power pole or nearby outlet. You have to ensure that if your tool needs 15 amps, it gets 15 amps. Use an extension cord that doesn't carry the correct gauge wire and you essentially starve your tool. Think of this like trying to breathe through a straw. It might be doable, but if that straw isn't large enough, you're gonna struggle to breathe. Secondly, this potentially creates a dangerous situation. An undersized extension cord will heat up over time. Improper use for a long period of time could cause the wire insulation to melt. Before we wrap up today's video, here's a quick list of some helpful extension cord do's and don'ts. Do understand how much current you need to draw for your tool or appliance. Properly size the wire gauge to the length and current draw required. Keep your cables as short as possible for higher current tools. And unroll extension cords fully so they aren't coiled during use. Don't use cables not properly rated for your tool and the length of cord. Don't use a cord that lacks a ground plug, either missing or broken. Don't simultaneously run multiple high current tools off a single cord or circuit. And don't use a long extension cable if you've got a short one handy. Hopefully this video gives you a bit of insight into what to look for while shopping extension cables and cords. Understanding wire gauge and amps and how to properly size your cords for the tool and distance can make your tools last longer and run more optimally. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.